So Vikas, can you please give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, okay, so this is Vikas Kumar. I come from Champaran, Bihar, and I did my B.Tech from IIT Roorkee. I was a, a batch of 2017 to 2021, and uh, since my like my branch was metallurgical and materials engineering, like a uh, non-surgical branch, and then like uh, I started doing coding in my second year and all, and then started applying off campus and gave uh, a lot of interviews, uh, kind of failed in a lot of interview also, and then got selected in Tech One. That's all. Okay, so could you please even give an introduction about the uh, company you are currently working on? Uh, okay, so it's its name is Tech One, and it works on like dealer management system. Actually, uh, the CEO sir is uh, kind of a member of the Tesla. Like uh, when Tesla, he he was working with the Elon Musk and all. So we are kind of in that particular field, dealer management system. And it it's kind of like like for me it has been only ten days so like I cannot tell everything here. So we are in a dealer management system. So we have a platform where like people uh, buy cars and do a lot of stops related to that field. That's all. So give a knowledge, give us a knowledge about the job profile and the skills that are needed for your job profile. Okay, so uh, the position is associate software developer, and it was open for uh, like students who are graduating in twenty twenty one and before that. Like, uh, if you have one year experience, then only you will be like in this particular range also. And like, I, I was in I was in twenty twenty one batch, so uh, like I applied and I got selected. And about the skills part, so uh, they were mainly uh, focusing on the problem solving skills. So uh, they were speaking with like uh, data structure algorithms with any particular language like UBs, UBs. So for me, it was C plus plus and data structure and algorithms most of the time. And one inter like one round like there was some basic fundamentals of CS, but mainly it was DSL and or C plus plus for me. So how is the question and answer process handled at your company during your uh, interview? Okay, so like, uh, let me first tell how many rounds were there. So uh, uh, there was one online test round and then there were three technical rounds actually. And uh, in every technical round, there were uh, three coding questions we had to solve in around 15 minutes, you can say. And one was easy that you can solve in three to four, five minutes, but two were medium. That was requiring some time around 15 to 20 minutes. So like I was lucky to solve three questions in every round and then these things happened for me. All right. Definitely. So what has been your experience in the software development process? Uh, during the uh, like interview process or like what I'm doing right now? Yeah, uh, up to now, what has been your experience as a software okay. developer? Okay, so uh, whenever like in my college time, no, when I started doing this competitive coding things, like in this particular field software developer, I kind of solves few questions on a few sites like uh, interview with lead code, and there now nah, you you find you see a solve question and then you try to solve it with one method, then you try to optimize it with like uh, any other approaches you have right now. So it's kind of like a brain, uh, I'll say the exercise for brain. Like you are thinking, you are trying to minimize it, and then you are applying this particular thing to solve real world problems. Like it's uh, very nice, I think. And then I choose this field, and right now we are doing some amazing work at Techion. Okay, that sounds really good. And would you give some tips regarding the skills that are required for your job profile? Uh, okay. So, like, uh, there should be one particular language that you will be like uh, very much proficient in that. Uh, either it can be C or Java or Python, whatever you like. But you have to be like uh, very much good in that particular language. Because uh, see the, the point here is like in every programming language now the logic is gonna be more over same only the syntax is changes so like if you know one language very well it you uh, you will be like easily will understand another language so for now just uh, master one particular language and uh, try to give more time on the problem solving skills like solving uh, questions related to data structure and algorithms and then. Uh, if you are from non-circuital branch, like if you are not from computer science, electrical, or LEC, 
then you have to give some more time on uh, CS fundamental. Like operating system will be there, databases will be there, and then some time on networking also. So like that, that's what the uh, technical round, like uh, online test and technical round, that's enough for that, I'll say. Yeah, that's it. So any advices for a future aspirant? Uh, okay, so I'll say that uh, for me particularly, like uh, I kind of uh, started this off-campus process from December only. And this is June. I have started my, uh, like I got selected in June. So it took some time. And in between that time, na, like I got a lot of rejections also. And uh, there were a few companies where I could like uh, reset till the second technical round or third technical round, then got disqualified. So it's like, and uh, so see the point here is like, you will feel this thing. Like if you are, you are getting some calls from in, for interviews, you are uh, clearing few rounds and then you are getting selected. So like, just move on from there. Like just think that it was one step. Like if I was not able to clear it, just leave it here, try for another company. And uh, this was like uh, for moving on part and you have to build a kind of a good connection on LinkedIn also. Like LinkedIn is a very good uh, platform for software developers and like professionals I'll say. So there like you can uh, build your connections with HR, uh, the people who keep posting about the job openings and uh, yeah, like you have to kind of then uh, reach out to them and ask for if there is any opening in their organization. And trying for referral part, like if you will get referral, you will get an interview call, and then it's totally up to you. So like keep grinding, keep practicing. Good will have good thing will happen. Like I just say this thing to like anyone who asks about any tips and all. You have to give your hundred percent. You have to like you have to have some rejections also. So be there, be strong, keep doing. Good thing will happen for you. That's it. That's a really positive message that even I learned from you today. So, okay. But last but not the least, I would like to ask you anything interesting that happened during the preparation of your job profile that you're currently working on? Uh, interesting thing. Well, well, there was one particular thing during my campus placement part. Like, uh, I kind of, there were a few friends, like few of my friends, uh, and they were like good in coding, but not at that level. Like I was better than them. So I kind of helped them a lot <laughs> during preparations. And what happens is that they got better opportunities than me during the placement only. So like, again, uh, again, I had to kind of uh, practice for six more months, like keep practicing, keep trying for six more months. And then again, like I was also, I, I also got that opportunity. But like during campus placement, I was like, there was a group like of four to five people. So uh, we were kind of sharing the knowledge and like I had uh, like a good amount of knowledge in data structure than those people. So I was kind of helping them a lot. And they were very lucky. They were very much lucky. So thus they just got the offer, like very good offer there only. And they were kind of keep enjoying from there. Like, and for me, it was like, keep trying, keep trying keep practicing the DSL and again, like at the end it happened for me also. So like that was a very interesting story. Like if you help someone, you will get a better opportunity. <laughs> That's it. Like uh, that was a very, like I laugh sometimes with this story. That's it. So you had a patience in your yeah, patience, yeah. And belief in yourself is the like most important thing. Like exactly. I, I thought that like I can do it. I will do it if I, like give time on this and it happened for me. So I'm here. That's it.